good afternoon students so in previous class we were discussing about the braking okay so and what are the types of braking so braking is nothing but to stop the traction motor we have to apply the some force some torque so that is nothing but the braking okay so here the braking are two types what are those mechanical braking electric braking so here in this traction purpose we are using the motors motors is nothing but electric so that means here you have to apply the electric braking so electric braking so see Electric braking are mainly three types. What are those? Plugging, rheostatic braking, and regenerative braking. So in previous class we are discussing how you can apply the plugging to the DC motors. Okay, so that means both DC series motor and DC shunt motor. So as well as for AC motors. So AC motors are nothing but for you have to see for AC series motor as well as induction motor and synchronous motor. How you have to apply the plugging. So second type of braking is rheostatic braking. So in previous class we are discussing how you can apply the rheostatic braking to the DC motors. Okay. Okay, so in previous class we are discussing how you can apply the rheostatic braking to the DC shunt motor. Now in this class we are discussing how you can apply the rheostatic braking. Okay, that means to stop the motor. Okay, you have to apply here rheostatic braking. Okay, in which ways we are applying the rheostatic braking to the DC series motor? You have to explain in this class. Okay. So DC series motor. See, in case of DC series motor, it is not easy to apply the regenerative braking as of DC shunt motor. Okay. And so, uh, I coming to the DC series motor, it is not easy to apply the rheostatic braking uh, as. Uh, Okay, and I'm see. In previous class, we are discussing the rheostatic braking. So now in this class, we, are, we have to discuss in the regenerative braking. So regenerative braking means the output is again given to the uh, supply. Okay, so that is nothing but the regenerative braking. I think we are conducting the regenerative test in uh, DC motors. Okay, so similarly here. So in previous class, we are discussing up to plugging and so braking are electric braking are three types. What are those plugging? Rheostatic braking and regenerative braking. So in previous class we have seen how you can apply the plugging to the DC motors, okay, AC motors, in, and uh, you, how you can apply the rheostatic braking to the DC motors. We have discussed in previous class. So now in this class, how you can apply the regenerative braking? So to the DC series motor and AC motors. First we have to see for the DC series motor. For the DC series motor, how you can apply the uh, uh, regenerative braking? See. In case of DC series motor, it is not easy to apply regenerative braking as DC shunt motor. Okay, so see the main reasons of the difficulty of applying regenerative braking to DC series motor are first one during the braking period, the motor act as a generator. Whenever you have to apply the braking to the DC series motor, so at that time it will be act as the DC shunt motor. Sorry, generator by reversing the direction of the current flowing through the armature. So at that time it reverses the current direction flows through armature but at the same time the current flowing through the field winding is also reversed so at that time so whenever you have to apply the regenerative braking to the dc series motor so at that time here the, the dc series motor will be act as a generator so at that time it will be reversing the both current directions uh, in both armature and field okay hence there is no retarding torque so at that time the torque will be not produced retarding torque means the torque which is used to stop the electric motor okay so and a short circuit condition will set up both back emf and supply voltage will be added together so that's why there will be a short circuit will be occurred why you can say short circuit means 
So at that time the back EMF. So what is the EMF? So in DC motors EB back EMF will be produced. So uh, whenever uh, uh, you have to apply the braking to the DC series motor, at that time it will become a short circuit. So short circuit means at that time the voltage will be increases. So that means both back EMF and terminal voltage, that is supply voltage, both added together. So whenever these two voltages will be added together, so at the time the voltage will be increases. So that during the braking period, it is necessary to reverse the terminals of field winding. So that's why at the time you have to reverse the terminals. Okay, that means you have plus minus will be interchange, phase neutral will be interchange. Okay, so DC means you have used plus minus to interchange the terminals, plus and minus. Okay, some sort of compensating equipment must be incorporated to care of long change in the supply voltage. Okay, so that's why to compensate these problems, you have to extra compens, you have to use the extra some equipment. Okay, so can be applied to the DC series motor. So that's why you have to apply one extra equipment to overcome this uh, drawbacks during the braking period. So see, any of the following methods will be used. See, by overcome these problems, we are using these methods to regenerate. Whenever you have to apply the region regenerative braking to the DC series motor. So first one is French method. So what is the method one? French method. Okay. So method two. Method three. Okay, in these three methods, we are applying the regenerative braking to the DC series motor. Okay. See, first we have to see the method one. This is also called as French method. See, if one or more series motors are running in parallel during the braking period, the field windings of all series motors are connected across the supply in series with a suitable resistance. So, uh, we have motor means uh, for uh, uh, traction purpose, we are not using single motors. We have to connect the number of uh, series motors in parallel, okay, to maintain the overloading. So, that's why here whenever you have to connect the, whenever uh, one or more series motors are running in parallel, so during braking period, the field windings, okay, the field, so every motor having armature winding. So, at that time, the field winding of the all series motors are connected across the supply in series with a suitable resistance. So at that time, thereby converting all series missions in shunt mission. So at that time, see, here you have to convert the all series missions into shunt mission. See, these are the three, these are the three field windings of three motors. Okay, these are connected in series with the supply through the external resistance. Okay, so this arrangement will be called as the French method. Okay, this is the one way. So the uh, why also what is the advantage why you are connecting in this way means see the main advantage of this method is all armatures are connected in parallel okay and current supply to the one machine is sufficient to exert the field windings of all the missions okay see here all armatures will be connected in parallel okay whenever you have to giving the any one of the motor the excitation at the time that motor will uh, exert the all field windings okay so that is the advantage okay field windings of the all emission and the energy supplied by remaining all emissions is fed back to the supply system. Okay, so if suppose if any one of the motor will supply the excitation to the field winding, at that time remaining two motors, uh, energy will be supplied to the, uh, uh, energy will be again fed back to the supply. Okay, so regenerative making, braking is nothing but output will be given as the input. So that is nothing but the regenerative braking. Okay, so during the braking period okay this is the purpose of the method one okay you have to in method one you have to apply the regenerative braking to the dc series motor okay method two okay see in method two In this method, the exciter is provided to excite the field windings of series mission during regenerative braking. So here to excite the uh, field winding, okay, to excite the field winding of the series motor, here you have to apply uh, uh, supply one exciter, exciter, okay. So this is necessary to avoid the dissipation of energy or loss of power in the external resistance. So whenever you have to exciting the field winding, so at that time, so this uh, at the time you can avoid the dissipation of power. Okay, that means power loss. 
in the external resistance whenever the excitation of field winding is adjusted to increase the rotational emf more than the supply voltage okay so here you have to give the excitation to the field winding so up to where you have to giving the excitation to the field winding means so the emf so whenever you have to exciting the field winding whenever the emf produced in yeah, produced in the motor is more that means back emf rotational emf is more than the supply voltage so at that time that voltage will be more so at that time that energy is supplied to the supply system okay so at that time the field winding of series machine is connected across an excited being driven by motor operated from an auxiliary supply okay so here i am says that here you have to giving the excitation to the field winding okay so at that time the field winding of the series machine is connected across an excited being driven by motor operated from an auxiliary supply okay so now during the braking period the series machine has as a separately excited dc generator so here i am says that the field winding of the series machine is connected across the excitor okay so and the motor so for the motor you have to giving the extra auxiliary supply so at the time that braking period the series machine act as the the dc series motor will act as the separately excited dc generator separately excited means which supplies the energy to the main line that means supply okay a stabilizing resistance is used to control the braking torque see this is the connection okay so field winding for field winding you have to give the extra see you have to give the excitor okay here you have to connect the series winding okay so to this so here i am says that it is it is act as a separately excited dc generator okay so see these are the traction motors so whenever you have to connect it in a number of traction motors you have to connect a one stabilizing resistor in series why because to control the braking torque okay so this is the method see tab so this is more this is first connection okay motor okay so, so whenever it act as separately excited means this is the separately excited okay so this is the arrangement during the braking period okay so that means here you have to connect the dc series motor okay across the field okay and the series uh, okay and uh, ex uh, the excitor will be connected separately okay so that's why this is called separately excited dc generator see coming to the method 3 in this method the armature of the excitor is connected in series okay with the field winding of the series machine this combination is connected across the stabilizing resistance see here see in this method the armature the armature of the excitor is connected in series with the field winding okay so that means excitor and the field winding will be connected in series with the machine this combination is connected across the stabilizing resistance okay the total combination will be connected across the stabilizing resistance okay so here the current flowing through the stabilizing resistance is sum of the excitor current and regenerated current by the series machine okay so the, at that time the current okay the current will flow through the stabilizing resistance is sum of the excitor what is you are using the excitor and uh, a regenerated current by the series machines okay during the braking period the regenerated current increases the voltage drop across the stabilizing resistor so at that time the regenerated current will be increases the voltage drop across the stabilizing resistor which will reduce the voltage across the armature circuit okay so at that time it will reduce the voltage across the and cause the reduction of the excitor current of the series machine field winding so in traction motors operating as the series generator so at that time that voltage drop will be reduces the voltage across the armature circuit at that time the excitor current of the, at that time the reduction of the excitor current of the series machine in the field winding okay so at that time the field winding current will be also decreases so at that time the traction motors act as the series generators okay so these are the methods in three methods you have to apply the regenerative braking to the dc series motor so now we have to see how you can apply the regenerative braking to the three phase induction motor okay see regenerative braking is applied to the induction motor by increasing its speed above the synchronous speed okay so to apply the regenerative braking so 
here you have to increase the speed of the induction motor above the synchronous speed okay so now the induction motor act as the induction generator so whenever you have to increase the speed of the induction motor above the synchronous speed so at the time the induction motor will be act as in the induction generator and and that feeds the power to the main line okay so whenever it acts as the generator so at the time it feeds power to the supply okay that means regenerate power to the supply okay now we have to see the torque slip characteristics okay this is the slip torque okay these are the torque slip characteristics of the induction motor this is motoring action without you have to connect any external resistance so whenever you have to apply braking with resistance okay these are the characteristics okay so that means at the time tire torque will be high whenever you have to torque will be high means so at the time you have to stop the motor quickly okay see the main advantage of the induction motor is during braking period no need of placing external resistance in the rotor circuit okay so whenever you have to apply the braking to the induction motor during braking period so at that time no need of placing external resistance in the rotor circuit okay so the speed during the braking remains almost constant that is independent of the gradient and weight of the train so during the braking period okay uh, the speed will be almost constant and it is also independent of the weight of the train okay and it will be not depending upon the weight of the train okay so this regenerative braking is applied to induction motor can save 20% of the total energy leads the reduction of operating cost so so uh, whenever you, you have to use the regenerative braking okay so whenever you have to apply the regenerating braking to the induction motor at that time again it fed back output will be utilized as the input of 20% energy so at that time again you will you will give the only 80% of the supply so whenever you have to give 20% of the energy so at that time you have to save the operating cost so that is induction motors next we have to see the a how you can apply the regenerative brake braking to the ac series motors okay so see regenerative braking applied to ac series motor see it is not simple way regenerative braking to an ac series motor okay this is not simple okay this is this is not simple process to apply the regenerative braking to the ac series motor in this method the armature of the traction motor is connected to the tap changing transformer through iron cord reactors re1 and re2 and commutating pole winding c okay see in this method of the ac series motor is connected to the tap changing transformer okay through the re1 and we have iron cord reactors and commutating pole winding c c here this one okay this is commutator pole winding c okay connecting to two re1 re2 okay an auxiliary transformer is provided to excite the field winding of the traction motor why here you have to see here i am says that it uses the tap changing okay tap change sorry transformer okay auxiliary transformer why you are using the auxiliary transformer means why you are using auxiliary transformer an auxiliary transformer is provided to excite the field winding okay to excite the field winding of the motor here you have to use the auxiliary transformer let us assume the v be the voltage of the tap changing transformer and if is the field current of the traction motor due to the presence of reactor if lags v by 90 degrees so here you have to connect the reactors so reactors means compulsory it will be lags the voltage by 90 degrees okay it acts is a uh, exciting current see here you have this is supply voltage okay so this is the voltage will be induced okay this is armature current okay so so at that time this is the phase also the voltage have the phase angle with the armature current ia okay so and see here i am says that the if is the field current of the traction motor so if always lags v by 90 degrees okay so see this is if okay so if is exactly 90 degrees lags with the voltage v okay so see from the phasor diagram the vector difference of and gives the voltage across the cord reactor r e1 okay so that means v bar minus e bar equal to so this will gives the ia r e1 
I A into R E one. That means the voltage drop across the reactor one. Okay. Now the armature current I A lags by ninety degrees, and the breaking torque developed in series mission will proportional to I A cos pi. So at that time the breaking torque, the torque will be proportional to the I A cos pi. This is the torque value which is produced. And and the power returned to the supply is also proportional to the I A cos pi. Okay. And the power which is returned to the supply is proportional to the I A cos pi. Okay. So that proper phase angle must be obtained for efficient braking effect arise in the regenerative braking applied to AC series motor. So that means proper phase angle must be obtained. Okay. For the effect efficient braking, whenever you have to apply the regenerative braking to the AC series motor. So at that time you have to obtain the proper phase angle. Why you can get the proper phase angle means see during the regenerative braking the braking torque is proportional to the operating power factor. Okay, so whenever you have to get the efficient regenerative braking to the AC series motor means whenever the braking torque is proportional to the operating power factor in order to operate the series motor at high power factor field winding must be excited separately from the other auxiliary devices. So at that time, okay, so. At that time, it will makes the uh, series. Uh, the it it will makes the operate the series motor at high power factor. Okay. So next one, proper phase shifting device must be incorporated. So you have to extra use one proper phase shifting device. Okay. To shift the phase. Okay. Proper phase shifting uh, device must be incorporated to ensure the correct phase angle. Okay. To get the correct phase angle, you have to use the proper phase shifting device. Okay. So to overcome the difficulty stated above, a special arrangement is adopted that is known as Ben Estrang method of regenerative braking. Okay, so uh, you have to overcome. Uh, uh, see these all. You have to use this arrangement. Okay, so this is the arrangement of AC series motor whenever you have to apply the regenerative braking to the uh, AC series motors. Okay, so up to now you have to discuss the braking. So what is the braking and what are the types of braking? Uh, so braking is two types: mechanical braking, electric braking, and electric braking is three types: plugging, rheostatic braking, regenerative braking. <clears throat> Up to now, we have to see how you have to apply the regenerative braking or uh, uh, plugging or rheostatic braking. How you can apply to the uh, DC motors and AC motors. So next one is traction motor control. What are the motor used in the traction purpose? Either are series motors, uh, sorry, or either are DC motors or AC motors. How you can control the how you can control that motors? Okay, so that means traction motor control. See, normally at the time of starting, the excessive current drawn by the electric motor from the main supply causes the causes to the effect. So first, whenever starting the train, so whenever starting the train means whenever you have to switch the supply. So at that time, the excessive current. Okay, at that time, the current drawn by the electric motor will be very excessive, uh, and at that time, it will cause us the, the main supply uh, and will cause the motor and from the main supply causes the more effects. Okay, so at that time, it is necessary to reduce the current drawn by the traction motor is smooth control. Okay, so at that time, to reduce the current. Okay, so first initially, whenever you have to switch on that motor. So at that time, to reduce the current run by the traction motor for smooth operation. So see, uh, whenever you have to get the, you have to reduce. Whenever you have to, whenever you have to reduce the current run by the traction motor initially. So at that time, to uh, so why you are reduce the current value means first one to achieve smooth acceleration without jerking and sudden shocks. Okay, so that means. To get the acceleration will be smooth without any vibrations and shocks. Okay. Next one is to prevent damage to the coupling. So whenever the current drawn by the motor is initially high, so at that time the what are the so the remaining equipments what are the coupled to the motor will be maybe okay. So that was to uh, to prevent the damage to the coupling. Okay. So and what are the elements coupling to that motor? So uh, to prevent that motor from damage. Okay, we are using the to reduce the current. Okay, next one to achieve various speed depending upon the type of services. So according to the services, so in next unit you can get the different types of services. That means urban services, suburban services, mainline services. 
Main line services means there will be number of stops of the training will be less, more than either one or two. So uh, main line means uh, uh, some that is urban means more than two stops, suburban means many stops. Depending upon the types of service to get, so according to our stops, okay, you can get the, the speed will be also different. Okay, so that means to achieve various speeds depending upon the types of services. Okay. First, you can see the control of DC motors. Okay, how you can control the DC motors? Means, see, at the time of current is drawn by the traction motor, when rotated voltage is sub, uh, supplied across its set terminus. So, whenever you have to apply the rated voltage, that means rated either 20 volts or 30 volts according to that motor, whenever you have to apply the rated voltage, so at that time, first the motor will, the DC motor will draw the excessive current. Okay. During the starting period, the current run by the motor is limited to its rated current. So that's why that current will be limited to the its rated current. This can be achieved by placing a resistance in series with the armature binding. Okay, this can be achieved by placing a resistance in series with the armature binding. Okay, yeah, this is placing the resistance in series with armature binding. Whenever you have to place this resistance with series with armature binding. So at that time it will be draws that excessive current. Okay. This is known as starting resistance. Okay. The, that resistance will be called as starting resistance. It will be cut off during the normal period, normal running period. First you have to uh, put into the circuit whenever on, uh, after that whenever the motor will be running that is in running period there were um, uh, at that time that will be cut off from the motor. Okay. That means cut off from the armature. Okay. Um, by the resistance of starting resistor, there is considerable loss of energy taken place in it. So at that time, the total extra current will be get the loss of energy in that resistor. Okay, at the time of switching on the back EMF developed by the motor EB equal to zero. So whenever you first initially, whenever you have to switching on, so at that time the EMF developed EB back EMF will be zero. Supply voltage V equal to IARA plus. Vs, okay, where Vs is nothing but whatever the resistor is connected in series with the motor. So at that time it having the voltage drop. The drop will be called as Vs, where Vs is the voltage drop across the starting resistors and IARA is the voltage drop in the armature during running condition. So first there will be no back EMF starting, but whenever it will be running at Okay, so at the end of accelerating period, the total resistor uh, will be cut off from the armature. So first you have to first uh, now you have to uh, connect the series resistance to the armature. Whenever uh, at the end of that you have to cut off from the armature. Initially I will say that. So at that time there will be no ES. Okay, so at that time B equal to IARA plus BB. Okay, so that means C. So various old various drops during starting and running with armature resistance. So various drops uh, uh, during uh, uh, starting and running with negligible armature resistance when the armature resistance is neglected. That is R A equal to zero and T is the time in seconds for a stop. Starting uh, that the total energy supplied is V A I A. Okay, so the, this is the energy supplied to the initially the motor to the V A I A into T. Okay, VA means armature voltage, IA means armature current, T means time period, watts per second. Okay, and the energy wasted in the starting resistance at the time of starting can be.
ça. So in next class, we are seeing how you can control the DC motors. Okay, how you can control the traction motors and what are the auxiliary equipment will be used in the. Okay, so those are discussed in next class.